Should be a very entertaining game today, Frank. Yes. Yep. Uh, Hopkinton looked much stronger in that second game. They found their sea legs a little, I think. Yeah, you did. both both teams started out a little a little rusty um, last week, but as we were saying, it's with no no not a lot of practices, no scrimmages, no game simulation beforehand. It was uh, a, a pretty good display by uh, by both teams. Yeah, yeah. The summer league was uh, canceled as well, so yep. it was very tough to prepare for this season. Although there was a summer, there was a <coughs> excuse me, a, a league in, in um, Milford that went on that teams could enter, high school teams could enter. Really? Yeah. Okay. So it looks like Hopkinton's going to start out playing into the into the wind. I'd like to welcome all the viewers from Holliston. A lot of par all the parents uh, have to watch this game from home because of COVID. COVID restrictions. Welcome to all the grandparents all around. I know my parents are watching down in New York. Ready to get the first period underway here. Beautiful Saturday afternoon. Wind gusting a little bit. Was a, was a bit of an issue in the first game where the Holliston JV boys defeated Hopkinton 3 to 1. Premature start there. And we're underway. Holliston moving right to left. Katz with the ball. Owen Burke, one of the tri-captains. Outside to Montilla. Cagno with the ball at his feet. Back to Montilla. Cagno dancing along the sideline. Vasington with a nice steal, back to Arian Shaw. Not sure what that call was. Looks like Ross Kompkowitz is going to take this kick. Arian, nice turn with it. Tora Ito in the middle. Passes it back to Declan Mick. Nice move to the outside. Coach unhappy with that call, Holliston. Tom Nappy may need to edit that out. <laughs> now we're off to a field hockey start again. Too many whistles. Lots of whistles, lots of contact. This could be a dangerous uh, kick here from Holliston, getting it into the box. Brian McLeod. That's just what they do. A little too long and runs yep. over the end line. Yeah, it's it's Pat tough. A, it's tough to, to put a long ball through when you can't head it. Yep. Pat Krantz taking the uh, goal kick here. It's a good day to be a big man. It's Pat's favorite saying. Comes Declan Mick down the wing. Nice pass to Sean Golombowski. Up front, Sean looking for Peter D. McKaylee, and one ran out of bounds. I was impressed last week with Sean's speed. Very good control of his body and great set of wheels. Yeah, yeah, he took off, ran by three defenders and scored one of his goals that way. Foley. Nice control. To Burke. It's Spencer Smith defending for Hopkinton. Yeah, Foley tried to turn it in. Smith still with him. Andrew Gon clears it out of bounds. McEachern will put the ball back in play for the Panthers. A little 
flick. Oh, bicycle kick. Whoa. Well hit. Well executed bicycle kick by Holliston. Over Andrew Gon's head. He was right there. Ryan Foley. But that's Wait. tough to defend. Ryan Foley, what a beautifully executed bicycle kick. Just over the bar. Taken down nicely by Katz. To Foley. Nice through ball. Pat called for that one. And quick distribution to Tora Ito. Go up to Sean Golombowski. Little tough. Struggled a little to, to control it there. Got a foul, COVID foul. Now my understanding of the COVID rules is that any intentional contact that isn't in the process of winning the ball basically is a foul. So we get a lot of whistles in these, uh, in these games. Yeah, so it basically means the shoulder to shoulders are no longer Yep. Allowed. Nice pass work here by Hopkinton, moving the ball across the field. Picked off by Montilla. Nicely controlled by Shaw. Stolen by Holliston. Stolen by Ito. Up to Peter DiMichele, to Sam Vasington. Sam's controlling the ball. We're trying to get it out the, out the outside there to Pierce Farrell. Toro with the ball now. Nice step by Ross. All right, Declan's controlling it on the left side, on the right side here, up to Sam Vasington. Back to Declan. Arian with the ball, controlling it nicely. To Vasington, to Di Michele. Now to Ito, out to the wing. Pierce Farrell, he's got a strong left foot. Goes for the cross. And it's broken up by Holliston and out of bounds. It's going to be a Hopkinson kick in here. Spencer Smith, affectionately known as Spoon on the team, is going to take this kick. He's asked for 10 yards. Now they have to keep these kick ins on the ground. Looks like he's going to lay it off to Pierce for a left footed cross. Sam Vasington is waiting in the far post. Cross is deflected, kicked way up in the air by the Holliston defender, and, and out of bounds off of Hopkinton. I have a goal kick. Holliston defeated. And we just got an update in girls field hockey. Holliston one, Hopkinton zero. Spencer Smith on the ball to Dean McKelly, who makes a nice turn with it, but stolen by Holliston. Yeah, Ryan Kratt, no. Katz with the ball. Arian's got it now. And Foley picks his pocket. Uh, Toro right. with a strong tackle, but Foley's still got it. Plays it down the wing, but there's nobody there. Andrew Gahn takes control of it, passes it up to Pierce Farrell, but it runs out of bounds. Looks like there's a little bit of a players in different uh, positions this week. It looks like Peter DiMichele is playing a little bit more central mid. He wasn't Last week he was playing wide. Yes, Owen Schnoor, their leading goal scorer, started out on the bench today. Ooh. Whoa. Pat missed the punch out there and almost uh, got to a Holston striker, but I think it was Ross who, who stepped in and got the clearance there. Yeah, that ball was held up by the wind. Very difficult to judge. Hopkinson playing against the wind here in the first half. Holliston playing with the wind. The wind was a factor in the JV game for sure. We'll see how it plays out here. Short pass on the ground to Peter DiMichele. Tries to Sneak it through to Tora, who eventually picks it up. Nice cover. Attack broken up by 
I took, broken up by Ross there and cleared out of bounds for it's going to be a Holliston kick in here. Montilla is going to put it in play. To Cagno. Sends it deep. Cleared away by Pierce Farrell. Katz was there. Cleared by Andrew Gahn. Picked up by Pierce Farrell. Dribbles it out of bounds. McEachern will put the ball back in play for the Panthers. Just an unlucky touch there from Pierce. And definitely the right idea to try to beat him down the wing. couple of substitutes getting ready to enter from on both teams here. Bassington sends that ball out. Subs coming in for both teams. Montillo put the ball back in play for the Panthers. Looks like Spencer Smith is coming off. Peter DeMichelli moving to the outside and Owen Schnorr slipping into the attacking center mid roll. Monti again putting it back in play to Cagnos. And got to wait for the second whistle. Agno. They're trying to say, oh, that's a good looking ball oh, and it slips dangerous. through. Oh, well, well done by Ross. by Ross. Yeah. That was a very important clearance there. Not sure how that got through there. Yeah, it, I don't know whether it was that. Andrew put his leg out and missed it, but Robinson was all alone coming in on the wing. Nice, oh, nice tackle by Schnorr. Nice pass to Golombowski. Peter McKell, right into, oh, here we go. It's into Schnorr's stride. Yeah. We got a bad deflection there off of a defender's heel. Arian Shaw puts it through to Schnorr. It's too far. Goalie picks it up. Here comes Halston. Halston's obviously got strong ball control, comfortable on the ball. They're passing it around, similar to their JV team. McEachern. Big switch. Stolen by Sam Vasington. Nicely foul on Halston. Short pass back to Declan Mick. Nice pass to Sam. Sam cuts to the middle, passes off to Aryan Shaw. Ooh, through ball by Aryan was nice. Sean wasn't ready for it. Wasn't expecting it. Roy with the throw. Oh, nice, oh, nice steal nice by peel. Peter DeMichele. <clears throat> He's taking it at the defender, takes it to the outside, trying to get across Trying now. to get around Smith. Oh, oh foul in the box In here. the box. That's going to be a PK. Oh, indirect. Oh, they're calling a COVID foul. COVID foul. So it'll be indirect in the box. Uh, the defending team does not really have an opportunity to set up much of a wall here. They have to stay six feet apart. Yeah, you want oh, to wow. He, he, he called it way back at the back of the box. Um, so not as dangerous as I thought it was going to be. Got Farrell and Schnoor now gone coming in. Three guys on the ball. It's like Farrell will probably just roll it and Schnorr will take the shot. Upper right. Oh, he takes a touch and then shoots with his left. Defender. Smith clears. Hopkinton ball. Yeah, Schnorr never really got a good, didn't really get a good shot off there. Kudos for taking the shot with his left foot though. <laughs> <laughs>
Golombowski comes back for it, lays it off to Ito. Ito getting it wide now to Mick. In the middle to Golombowski again. Good composure Ito, from Declan. Yes, really nice control of the ball. Nice pass work here by Hopkinton. Stringing together several passes. Vasington on the wing. It goes out of, out of bounds. I mean, Shaw, Vasington, broken Picked up. Picked off, Foley. Okay, Foley. Yep, another COVID foul, I think. Cagno put the ball back in play to McLeod. Back to Smith. Goes for a long ball up to Foley. Nice control by Foley. Katz. Nice steal by Declan Mick and a clearance by Andrew Gaughan. McLeod pressured, falling Hopkinton. Good pressure by Golombowski. You love to see that center yep. forward getting back and putting pressure on the defenders, forcing uh, forcing the pass. And those forced passes are often Aaron passes. Now Hollis will probably get this one into the box as well. There's Smith just touches it. Nice chip into the box. Declan is there. Ito with a strong tackle. Schnorr. First time pass to Ito, leads Di McKelly down the wing. This is a nice attack by Hopkinton. And now Golombowski's going down the wing. Nobody's on the back, nobody's following up on the no. post here. Peter's the only runner going with him. Sam's got to be down that wing. <laughs> yep, really need to take that space. Okay, looks like Ito is going to touch this into Farrell. It's a low cross on the ground. I'm not sure that's the way they drew it up on the playbook. And Foley holding up, waiting for support. It was a nice through ball. I think yep, Ross that, is going to get there yeah. first. Oh, no, it's close. Oh, Robinson. From, from this angle, it looked like Ross had the advantage, but it I did. Think in the end. It did. Um, it was probably a 50-50 ball when they got to it. Halston comes away with a corner kick. Ruffle enter enters for Holliston. Yeah, keep an eye on the back post there. Alston, coach, happy with the execution on that corner. Yeah, I'd prefer to see the ball on the ground like that, coming in hard to the box. You got more choices rather than putting it in the air. There's a dangerous oh. cross to the far post. Cleared by Hopkinton. D. McKelly controlling it in the center of midfield, looking for Schnorr, but Smith picks it off. McEachern, Smith. Well, 16 is wide open here on the side, and he's got the ball now. Yep, Burke gets it. Strong defense by Declan Mick again. McFadden or McLeod, I'm sorry. Schnorr got a just a little bit too. One. Fast for a raffle. Holliston throw. Montilla. Cagno. Back to Montilla. Nice step. Sean comes for the ball. A free kick for Hopkinton here. Not sure why Torres all the way back there. 
Declan to Schnoor to Shaw. Nice turn. Ito dribbling in the midfield. Passes it out to Farrell. A little, little strong on that pass. Looks like it's gone yeah, out of bounds. It did go out. Farrell to take this kick here. Couple of subs. Got Jack Green coming in. It looks like they're going to push Sam Vasington up to striker, and Jack Green is going to play uh, the right midfield position. Peter D. McKelly is coming off, and Sean Golombowski. Past the Schnorr in the middle. He's looking. F he just, the keeper was off his line further. <laughs> he scored a goal like that in the first game. He caught this the keeper and went over his head. He tried it again. Yeah. Roy with a little bit of a shank there. He just caught Spencer Smith off the shoulder before it went out of bounds. The Kekrin to Smith. A little back flick there. No, he can't slide tackle. Another one of these balls where Holston can chip it into the box. Cloud does just that. One by Declan Cats. Outside. Reffle. Back to Kango. Broken up by Shaw. Right, right, right. This is going to be a Holliston kick in a more dangerous area. Might be able to get a shot off here. Yeah. It's, like it's a bit McLeod. far for a shot. And that's the end, and of, the that's the end of the first quarter. That went fast. End-to-end -end action. <laughs> Lots of action. So at the end of the first quarter, we're tied at zeros. Got a quick two-minute break, and we'll see whether they're going to switch sides or stay on the same side. We're not sure. JVs, they switched every quarter. But last week they didn't, so who knows. I would say, um, you know, run of play, Holliston might, might have had more possession, but... Maybe, you know, 55 to 45 was fairly close. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, both teams are passing the ball around nicely, getting some combinations, possession. They're both both teams are pressuring each other quickly. They don't have a ton of time on the ball. Yeah, I'd like to see Hopkinton start working the ball down the wings. Everything has been going down the middle. They're just going route one. I'd like to see him get the ball out to the wings and see what they can do. Absolutely. Uh, it's, the wings is where the time and space usually is. They've got strong. They've got strong wingers. Should be able to use them. So as we said earlier today, the JV boys, Hopkinton lost three to one to Holliston. They'll play, both these teams will play again tomorrow afternoon in Holliston. Yeah, in that game, all three, all four goals that were scored were scored with the wind. And the team playing with the wind seemed to dominate. Yep. Um, in each of those quarters, exception being the the last quarter, I thought the last quarter Holliston, the Holliston JV team really did well to uh, maintain possession of the ball, kept it on the ground against the wind, created some chances. So the boys are going to switch sides. I kind of like that, especially with the wind. Um, so you you play. It's not like you have to play the whole half against the wind. Let's see if Hopkinton can do something here with the wind. Yeah. 
assistant coach Dan Collins uh, yelling in some instructions there. He's given a great addition to the program over the last couple of years. A strong understanding of the game. Like you, Steve, he was also a, a goalie. Yeah, we've got number 12 taking the ball down the wing for Hopkinson here. Is that Declan? That's Declan Nick, isn't it? Yes. Nice run by Declan. Schnorr chips it in for, for Farrell. Roy rolls the ball out. There's that wind. Cagno down the wing. Gone important tackle here on the side. Kicks it safely out of bounds. Hopkinton getting back, regrouping into their defensive shape. McEachern will put the ball back into play for the Panthers. Lays it back, back to Cagno. Nice step by Jack Green to intercept that cross. Foul on Hopkinton, COVID foul on Hopkinton. Okay, Krantz is going to take this uh, short goal kick or free kick. Farrell, nice turn by Farrell behind his back to Schnoor, coming down the wing, touches it through to Vasington. Smith with a good step. Well. Yes. Ito's got this one back to gone. Spencer Smith to Ito. Farrell gets a critical touch there to Schnoor, down the wing to Farrell, just a little too strong. That runs out of bounds for a Hopkins, uh, for a Halston kick in. McEachern to Smith, no, we didn't get the second whistle. Yeah, the guys are used to playing quickly off of throw-ins, but now these kick-ins need a second whistle. Halston passing it across the back. Cats. One touch to Cagno. Flick to Smith. Cagno with a little hit from behind. Smith will put the ball into play. Not sure why uh, they're doing this small, so you can take a longer kick, I guess. Kekrin, Smith. Oh, that was ahead. Might have been his shoulder. Yeah. Ross got up pretty high there. Yeah. It must have been. Otherwise, they would have called it. Yeah. Ryan Foley checking in for the Panthers. And they play the ball back to Roy. Outside. Nice steal by Pierce Farrell to Sam Vasington. Makes a move. He's got room for, a push. A, room for a shot. That's going to be a direct kick in a very dangerous area. Oh, he takes a quick one. Oh, right. Needs a second whistle. Probably fortunate for Hopkinton because that was going nowhere. Well Strong struck. shot by Schnoor. Rebound comes out. Smith clears. Ross got up high for that one. Didn't make any contact. With yeah, it. went over went over the top of Siegel. Cagno puts the ball in play, receives it back, down the wing, left-footed into the box, 
and Dragon Porton steal. Distributes to Sam Vasington. Very nice control to get that down on the ground. Sam's got his head down. He's pick up his head. Jack Green picks up his head and a pass to Schnorr. Looking to get him, get Jack Green back again with the give and go. A little too far. Rotate it back to Roy. Gives it to Smith. There's stolen a by ball. Ito. It's stolen back. Burke. What a nice back heel pass by Burke. Siegel. Great step by Ross Kopkowicz. McEachern to Smith. They steal by Farrell. And Smith just puts it out of bounds. Hiller, Hiller ball. Smith to Schnorr. A little delay move and blasted at the far post. Took, took oh a boy. deflection. It should be a corner kick. It took a deflection off the defender, but the referee missed it. Take a short goal kick. Smith over to McLeod. I was going to say there's a deflection to the center of the defense. Marrero Smith was all alone. Passes it to Mick. It's the number 13 for Hopkinton. Nice step from Katz. Number 13 is not listed on the roster. Oh. Number 13 for Hopkinton makes a nice pass. He's got it back again. Puts it through down the wing. He's looking for Jack Green on the wing there. Just went out of bounds. I've got Sean Golombeski and Peter D. McKelly coming in for Sam Vasington and Jack Green. And Robinson coming in for the Panthers. Smith over to McEachern. Who? Oh. Foley with a foul. Had a heavy first touch there. This should be a good opportunity for Hopkinton. They were doing a lot more with their free kicks last season. They had guys running over the ball in either direction, all kinds of options. Goalie didn't know what was happening. This is just an obvious tap back to Schnoor for a shot on goal. Roy outlet. Nice interception. I love the way Mick intercepts the ball and seems determined to go forward with it with speed. He's not afraid to dribble it going forward. Nice turn nice by Peter move. DeMichelli. Pass to Sean, trying to muscle his way through there. Smith puts it out to McCarron. Good pressure by Hopkinton. Yep. Forces, Off Robinson. Forces Robinson out of bounds. Quick pass by, back to Schnorr, down the wing to Farrell. He's gonna have a left-footed cross. That goes out for a corner. Hey, good recovery from McEachern. Let's see what Hopkins is going to do with this corner kick. Let's 
small touch to Ito. Oh, he dribbles past the defender, dribbles down the line. Smith with a Dangerous chest. Dangerous cross there. D. McKelly was involved. Siegel goes back to McEachern. In the middle to Robinson. Declan clears this one out of bounds. Merlis comes in. McEachern to Smith. High cross. For 13. Di McKelly. Schnorr. Nice delay move back to Di McKelly. Di McKelly's got space. And Looks Farrell for the through off. ball to Farrell, who is offsides. I think Dean McKayley could have taken the space there. He could, he could he should have he should have made the pass earlier and since he didn't he should have taken the space. He he was in between. Yep. Good pressure by Schnorr. Good pressure by Ito. McEachern. And Gon nice. steps up to intercept and he runs out of bounds. Merlis will put the ball in play. I uh, know McEachern's going to. Smith. Little shovel pass. Siegel's got it. He's. Oh, nice play. Spencer Smith made a nice steal there and then shielded the ball to get the foul called. Cranch slowing down the game intelligently. Yeah, I'd like to see one of those tiny little tips for a long kick on those. Could do that on the goal kick or any kick in the back. Nice turn by Pierce Farrell to retain possession, and he wins a kick in off the defender. Schnorr wins that one. A nice step from McEachern. By McEachern. Foley with the ball. Back to Katz. Strong tackle by Schnorr. Foley settles it back to McEachern. McLeod. Over to Burke. Oop, that got past Smith. Whoa. Looks like they call a foul against Holliston. Maybe a COVID foul. Coach Dupuy for Holliston trying to get some more intensity out of his team. Oh. Yeah. This is in a dangerous spot. Direct kick for Holliston here at the top of the box. Krantz is one of the loudest goalies I've, for youth that I've ever heard. And that's a good thing. Yeah, he's a very strong goalie. One of the strongest goalies I've seen at this level. Well taken. Great save. Great save. And he's got more work to do. He catches that one. That was Siegel with a nice blast. Oh, that's great that's to have a goalie like that with confidence. Yep. Can't kick the ball or throw the ball past midfield if you're the keeper in these times of COVID. For what reason? I have no idea. <laughs> Cats to Siegel. Critical Foley touch by Farrell there to break it up. Uh oh. Whoa, whoa. Okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> showing my bias a little bit there. Oh, 
The, the goalie cannot kick it past midfield if it's a, a punt or a throw, but that was off the ground. The ball was on the ground. It seems like the refs are having some difference of opinion on the uh, rules. Not interested in getting advice from Coach Dupuy. <laughs> which which <laughs> shouldn't surprise <laughs> anyone on the Hopkinton bench. Okay, referee is clarifying the rules for the goalie here. Yeah, he said he's going to give Hopkinton the ball because he told Pat that he could do it. Well, we're glad to be playing at all, so. Yes. I have to endure these. Uh, Strange occurrences happening only in the time of COVID. Oh, so the goalie cannot kick the ball past midfield regardless. That's ass. It's ridiculous. Dangerous passing in the in the back. Unbelievable. Kicked it over midfield, so that's going to be a free kick, indirect free kick. So then, Hall's. why should why why can then a striker shouldn't be allowed to go back defensively past midfield? I mean, I don't understand these rules. What's the difference between a goalie kicking the ball on the ground past midfield and a and a central Hall's defender the doing it? Here, broken up by Spencer Smith. Halston has it back again. Foley flips it up. Smith breaks it up again. Strong. Coach is asking why that's not a foul. I think it's not a foul because he won the ball. Right. Foley. Well taken. Well, cross Siegel by off Halston his chest. There. This is a good distribution from uh, Krantz to Ito. Ito makes a nice pass to number 13 in the middle. Peter Damon Kelly with the ball now. Slows it down. Nice touch. Good step in there from Cagno for Holliston, but still Hopkinton ball. So we're under two minutes. Tied up at zero. Damon Kelly tried to turn there, ran into a strong tackle from the Holliston defender. Looks like it's going to be a COVID, COVID foul against Hopkinton. I think McLeod's going to put it in play. Foley. Merlis back to Foley. Uh, Pat just sees that one wide. Foley's got too much time to shoot there. Foley hits it low. Nice step. Toro with the ball. Cat stride for stride. Taken for Steve down the wing. He, get, he manages to get through somehow. Oh, Smith with a stop. Ooh, got Schnur again, taken down. Got fouled. <laughs> <laughs> Schnur should not be talking back to the referees here. does seem like they missed that foul, though. Gone chests it to Ito. He was looking for Farrell, but it ran out of bounds. Well, it looks like it's going to green ball here.
Schnoor back to Ito. Sort of through ball to looking for Dima Kelly with the goalies on top of that one. Roy with a he's looking for a quick outlet. He didn't have any options. And that brings us to halftime. So we've got a 0-0 tie here in the boys varsity game. It was a fairly well balanced game to date, Frank. I mean, no no one team really dominating possession or neither I mean they the uh, uh, Holliston Panthers had one clear scoring chance, but Pat made a great save. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's been pretty. It's been pretty even so far. Ne neither team has really put their stamp on this game quite nope. yet. So we're going to take a quick ten-minute break, and we'll be back with the second half momentarily. And we're back for the second half of the boys' varsity soccer match between your Hopkinton Hillers and the Holliston Panthers. We're tied up at zero. Steve Sweet up along with Frank Schnur and Emily Miller on camera. Holliston going right to left with the ball. And the ref's making a phone call. I'll set now. That was a first. Seems like Holliston always has a strong program. They're always in the mix every year. Yep. Yeah, they're oh, referees and coaches are discussing. Oh, they're the talking. Yeah, there. they're talking the goalie rule. Okay, so there is clarification. So if you play the ball on the ground to the keeper, the keeper can kick it past midfield. Halston, uh, Hopkinton has been stronger in the last couple of years, making the playoffs two, twice in the, in a row the last two years, which makes this COVID uh, situation. Uh, disappointing, I guess, for, for them to not be able to make it a third year in a row. Seems like they've got a strong team again. Halston played their first two games against Norton, which is also historically a very good team. Uh, came away with a win and a tie against them. All right, so I think we got this sorted out now. Looks like we've got Golombowski up front with Vasington. And Siegel gets us underway. Goes back to Burke. Over to Smith. McEachern. Hopkinton closing quickly. Katz back to McEachern. A little give and go down the wing. Pierce Farrell closing down. There's nice a nice pass ball. Down the wing. Oh, good ball in the middle. Broken Peter up nicely is there. by Pete. Shot. And Foley with a great shot, just wide. Just a f deflection there that got to Foley. Got that shot, kind of came out of nowhere as the defense was trying to clear it. Krantz, another dangerous pass up the middle. Foley slides it over. It was, looked like a little bit of a miss hit there from Kango. Montilla, Katz. With the no goal kick rule, it seems like there's an opportunity just to take a short touch, almost like an indirect kick, just a short touch and then a long pass. Katz, outside to Burke. Burke gets it back. Nice defense well by done. Andrew Gahn. Nice pass by Declan Mick to Tora Ito. Peter D. McKelly moving the ball nicely up the middle. And a nice oh, through nice ball, ball to Sean. He's on. He's on sides and he's through. Defender. <laughs> he's got sandwiched. Comes across. Oh, he's giving a card here. He's standing outside the box. He hasn't pointed to the penalty spot yet, so. And so he gave the card to McLeod. Yes. This is a very dangerous position for a shot. 
the referee holds his hand directly up, it'll be to indicate indirect. I should be asking the referee to count off 10 yards here. He's holding up his hand for indirect, a indirect kick. It's going to be a left-footed indirect shot by Pierce Farrell here. Oh, so they got to they got to sub out because of the yellow card. So McLeod comes out. Robinson enters. Andrew Gone is standing outside the box, the top of the key. Low well struck. screaming shot by Pierce Farrell, well taken. Roy with a good smother and a quick outlet. And Declan with a nice step. McLeod re-enters. Kekrin to Smith. Foley outside. McEachern. Siegel on the ball. Thumped off. Cleared away by Vasington. Into the defensive end for Holliston. McLeod. No. Stolen by Vasington. Cats. off. Burke. Strong Ball stolen, but McLeod was there. Foley. Out to McEachern. Siegel. To Smith. Smith looking for a big ball, but ends up going short. Just bounced over Foley's foot. Mick picks that up. Dangerous cross across the middle. It gets to Vasington. Vasington still has it. Through ball to Farrell. Can he keep it in bounds? Looks he like he does. has. Nobody's following up this cross except for Sean. Unfortunately, that ran over the end line. But Hopkinton, none of the Hopkinton players in the box except for Sean. None of the midfielders getting into the box. Cats. Oh, Burke with a. Nice steal right. by D. McKaylee. Goes down the line to Golombowski. He's going to try and get a cross off. I'm not sure if that was a cross or a shot. Halston keeper easily, comfortably picked that off. Hopkinton's defensive uh, intensity seems to have picked up here in the second half. They're, it's, a, it's a higher line press. They seem to have a little more Intensity. Burke goes back to Smith. Foley. Pete just toe pokes it away, or that was Ito. Ito threw ball to Vasington. Can he get there? Oh. That was a late call from the keeper. Coach is not happy with the positioning there of the Holliston players on defense. Be a corner kick here for Hopkinton. Ito and Farrell setting it up. De McKelly making a run too early. Ito with the cross. Oh, Schnorr tried to chest that into the goal. Went wide. Never really had a chance with that angle. Robinson enters the game for the Panthers. If 
he could use, could have used his head there, it would, could, could have been dangerous, but tough to move that ball across the goal with your chest. Nice, nice. steal by Golombowski here on the wing. Vasington in the middle. Oh, Spit clears. We got an opportunity going the other way. Siegel with the ball. Oh, nutmeg. Got Andrew. Yeah, I'd like to see Andrew full speed retreat to the middle after something like that. Loose pass nice from Owen Burke. Very nicely paid between Schnorr. Oh, beautiful pass by chip, Shaw. Chip. And Golombowski's got a nice. shot on goal. Oh, oh, just wide. Trickled just by the post. Really strong attack from Hopkinton. Schnorr and Shaw com combining in the midfield. And then Shaw putting. It was a lovely over the top ball. Golombowski through. Okay, we're hearing some noise finally from the bench here at Hop Hopkinton bench. Burke, good good foot skills there. Robinson to Katz. Back to Burke. He leads Cagno down the left wing. Siegel. Oh, that was a push. Yeah, Hopkinton got away with one Gun there. Got away with that. Cagno moving to the corner. Cat's coming up next to him. On the ground. Cross cleared by Ross. Back to Robinson. Schnorr pressuring now. Going back to pressuring. Over to Smith. Shaw pressuring. Cat's with time. Running down the center. Nice step by Ross to break it up. Schnorr to Aryan Shaw. Katz broke it up, but Ito's there. Ito's picked it up. Nice turn by Ito. He's looking, yep, looking. He's looking. Vasington down the right wing. Putting Golombowski through. Colin has got to be really careful about kicking that ball after the whistle. Get him a yellow card. Especially because Rich just retrieved one. Now he's got to go get another. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Rich. At least none have gone in the woods. Athletic director Rich Cormier doing the tough work of behind the goal there. Cats with a long ball. Eklund Mick is there. Plays it back to the goalie. A little bit soft. Oh. That was dangerous. Gone has picked it up. Declan clears it. Farrell. Mick to Ito, back to Gone. Kind of an errant pass up the middle. Got picked up by Holliston for an opportunity. Cagno yep. with a wins the corner kick. Gon didn't quite get that clear, clearance cleanly. And it uh, I think went shorter and more central than he was hoping. Hopkins got, I got two defenders right out there in the corner. Cagno and Katz in the corner for Holliston. They'll put the ball in play. Katz, another low one. Out to Robinson. Settles the ball. Burke. They went for a through ball. Mick clears it out for a corner. Keckerin and Foley over there in the far corner. That'll be Foley who sends it in. Katz Grant's just punches, punches it out. It, yep, punches it out. 
Good turn by Foley. Or was that Seagull? Nice. Dangerous. Nice save. Nice save by Pat Krantz. Burke with a nice strike. Cackrin for another corner. He and Foley again. Pat is sporting a man bun this season for the first time. Nice low. Oh, slides slide through. Whoa, Whoa, off the post. Pat had it covered, though. Probably trying to keep the hair out of his eyes. He's got long hair. Cagno put the ball in play. Oh. Cats. Can't dive in like that. Looks like it's going to be a goal kick this time. Defenders are applying strong pressure, but they do so without committing themselves entirely. Gecker Snore brought it down, but had no help. Nice turn. Still got it. A little got a little far away from him that time. Gone on the defensive play. Back heel to Declan Mick. This is Declan clears it to Schnorr who handball handled the ball. <laughs> Looks like a bloody nose here for Halston. Number nine. Seagull. The Hopkinson trainer is going to come over and take a look. Marrera enters take care for of the Panthers. Pass stolen by uh, Shaw. And put the Schnoor through. Robinson goes back to the keeper. And it's going to put it out of bounds for a Hiller throw. Got a Shaw. And Burke with a Pick, Marrera. Ooh. Ooh. Beat Ross there. Gone gets back and breaks it up. Not sure what call this is here. Push on White? Yeah. Uh, we got lucky there. Really just a mental error there. Yeah. Unfortunate in that position. So Burke's over the ball. So it looks like Foley's just going to touch the ball. Burke's going to take the shot. Uh, there's a tick of deflection. Ross came out fast. Yeah. Sacrificing his body there. Just threw himself at the shot. And deflected off of him for a corner. I love how aggressive Ross is. Uh, bouncing ball. Cats. All 
Now, what are we doing here? Are we allowed to kick this one long? No. Okay. It was a COVID call. Oh. Oh, wow. That was dangerous. Boy, we got... I don't know what that call is. They made a pass. It seemed like a pass on the ground. I'm not sh no, sure. No, pass was on the ground. If it wasn't on the ground, it would be Holliston ball. I'm not sure what. Maybe he had to wait for a whistle. I'm not sure what happened there. No, he's kicked a long ball here, and that's allowed. No, no. I think that's what that's what the Holliston coaches say. <laughs> God, I hope the kids are less confused than I am. All right, Schnorr with the ball, passes it to Shaw. Back to Schnorr. He lost it. Picked off by McLeod. Ito. Katz with the ball. A little flick to Burke. Steps through. And there's a foul. All right, now. Paulson's got a direct kick from a dangerous area here. I know it's indirect, I apologize. Indirect kick. It's about 10 yards, so maybe about a 30 yard 30 yards outside the goal. Chip. Burke with a little chip. And they're gonna. Yeah, that was a COVID foul inside the box yeah, against Yeah, they're going to get Delecky with a little back in there. I feel like they should take those kicks like indirect kicks. Just roll it and let somebody else boot it. Foley dancing with the ball. Katz picked off by Ito. McLeod goes back to the keeper. Back to McLeod. He's got Robinson, but he likes to switch fields. Over Farrell's head, and Mick is there. You know, steers it out of bounds. Huffington looking for the through ball. Almost every play, I think they need to mix it up. Get some uh, players checking back, getting the midfield more into the attack. Well, that's oh, a beautiful nice, flick. Nice back heel. That's Katz with a pretty little flick. Oh, beautiful touch by Ito. Nice pass by Gon. Oh, oh nice. Great pass by Ito. Oh, unlucky there by Shaw. Oh, that's the half. Oh. Okay, I the missed the, the clock, quarter. so we're, <laughs> we're at the end of the quarter. I apologize. End of the third quarter at, here in Hopkinton, we're tied up. Hillers zero and the Panthers zero. We'll have a quick two-minute break, and... We'll be back with the fourth and final period. That was that was kind of end-to-end -end action there, Frank. Yeah, uh, both teams are getting the ball into the box and creating opportunities. Yeah, Halston maybe a little bit more than Hopkinton at this point, or that quarter anyway. Yeah. Still, Hop Hopkinton still trying to do a little too much right down the middle. I'd like to see him put the ball wide and just see what they can do. Yeah, they're not using the wings. They're going straight up the middle. Very rarely going down the wings. Very rarely getting the midfielders into the attack. Looking for Golombowski over the top to take advantage of his speed, but it's too one-dimensional. Yeah. And they've had they've had free kicks in very dangerous, very areas dangerous and positions. Just haven't taken advantage of them. Both teams have, actually. 
Both teams could be doing much better on free kicks. And the wind seems to have died down. We haven't had any gusts here in the last 20 minutes, so the boys will switch sides. So Hopkinton won't, may not have the benefit of the wind at their back. Slight breeze, but not as strong as it's been all day. Yep. There's the horn. The teams come back out for the fourth and final period. Tied up at zero. These same two teams will meet again in 24 hours at Holliston in the COVID-shortened season. Tri-Valley League broken up into two 16 pods. And you'll play the other five teams in your pod on a home and away on Saturday and Sunday each weekend for five weekends. So they get their 10 games, no playoffs. But at least the, the kids do get some games in. Both of these teams advanced to the playoffs last year. It really a tough schedule for both of these teams. To have, for Holliston to have Norton and Hopkinton as their first two games and for Hopkinton to have Medway, Medway and, and Holliston in their first two games. It's a tough start to the season. The captains for Hopkinton are Pat Krantz in goal, Ross and Andrew, the two defenders next to each other in the middle there, uh, and Owen Schnorr in the midfield. Hopkinton going right to left, and we're underway. Shaw gets it out to the wing, to Vasington. Looking for Sean up front. <clears throat> Broken up by Halston. Or maybe it was a COVID foul. That COVID was COVID foul. foul. Di McKelly to Ito, back to Di McKelly. To Shaw, to Di McKelly, to Schnorr. Nice back heel hill. to Di McKelly. Can you, oh, like to see. I would. I would have liked to have seen there. Pete yeah. take that shot too. Yeah, got to trust that left foot. I know he's got it. You go all the way back to Kranz here. Ooh, sloppy pass. Risky, risky pass up the middle. Merlis just couldn't control it. He had a chance. Foley. Nice Mick. step from Declan. Strong game from Declan Mick. Yeah, he's, he's a sophomore. A lot of sophomores on this team. Make a run, Merlis. Tuck in, Sammy. Tuck in. Oh, you can't have that happen. Schnorr up to Golden Basket. That's a good pass. He's going to have time to do something with this. He's got to pick his head up. He's trying to, trying to beat his defender and get across, but he managed to get a corner kick out of that. D. McKelly and Vasington are sophomores as well. Ito may be a sophomore. I think he is. Yeah. Several of them played as freshmen on varsity last year. Vasington, Ito. Um, and D. McKelly all played as freshmen. Smith surveying his options, lays it off to McEachern. And Foley's just going to hit that one out. Okay, Mick will take the kick in here. Passes it back to Gon. Long ball across to Vasington, intercepted. 
Yeah, Robinson couldn't control that. Ito back to D. McKaylee. Nice turn by Peter. Back to heel pass to Vasington. Back to Ross. Switching the field to Schnorr. To Shaw. Back to Schnorr. Very nice combination. Mm, just oh. couldn't get his foot on it. Scuffed it. Yeah. Didn't get a good shot off there. Stolen by D. McKelly into Schnoor. I got away from him. It was Burke. Shaw pursuing. Nice pursuit by Shaw. Burke going end to end here. And finally cleared away by Gone. Oh, Rich has to go in the woods. <laughs> So it looks like Foley and Cagno. And we've got a score coming in from the girls' varsity at halftime. It's Hopkinton 1, Holliston 0. That game underway in Holliston. The girls will be here tomorrow afternoon. Girls team did really well last year, didn't they? Um, they was it the year before? The year they before went to, they went lost to the, the finals. Final. Okay. Last year they got knocked out in the second round. All right, here comes Vasington. To Golombowski, back to Vasington. That ran out of bounds. Robinson will put it back in for the Panthers. Cats with the ball. Nice turn by Shaw to keep possession to Ito. Nice move by Ito back to Shaw. Out to Vasington on the wing, even to the middle. Broken up by Holliston. Foley. To Cats. Uh, sloppy Ito, pass from Schnoor. Cats. Oh, it looked like he was going to shoot. Cats with the ball. Good step from Farrell. Uh, COVID foul, though. And there's the wind. So nice pass. Foley. Nice step by Nice Declan step from Mick. Mick. If he takes that touch with his left foot, I think he has a better chance of keeping it inbounds. Smith puts it back in the center of the field. Katz to Burke to Siegel. Oh, Merlis was open on the wing. Well played by Ross in the back. Carl was McLeod. looking for Schnoor on that one. Gone to Farrell, to Schnoor. Should have been right back to Gone first touch, but he got the foul. Gone to Ito. Peter's out on the wing. Lazy pass. Very rare from Torah. He's usually very crisp and very deliberate. McLeod will, or no, who is it? Looks like. Yeah, it was McLeod who put the ball in play. 
Siegel takes a shot. A shot. Pat's got it. Good distribution for Shaw. Uh, unlucky there. He's looking for Vasington down the wing. And Robinson right from midfield. Put the ball in play. Shaw intercepts. Passes to Schnorr. Right back to Shaw. Foley. Out to Farrell here. Going down the left wing. He's looking up. Oh, nice move by Farrell. He gets it across. Not quite far enough. Ooh, that could have been dangerous. Well done by Mick. Good communication between Shaw and Mick. I'm sorry, between Farrell, Farrell. and Mick. They take it quickly. Shaw, Ito, gone. Man, uh, back to Ito. Mick, say Mick is going to take it, take it towards the goal. Okay. For me, that was a crazy call. Yep. <laughs> Going long, nice step. I don't like all the short passing in the back by Hopkinton here. Robinson down. Cagno with the ball. Back to Smith. McKechnie. Hopkinton pressuring. Goes back all the way the back to Roy. Well, this is going to be intercepted by Vasington. Handball. What? I have no idea what that call is. Schnur's asking for 10 yards. The referee doesn't seem to want to count it off. Here he comes now to count it off. They're using the... Schnur's going to take a shot. Nice shot. Nice what a goal. 40 yards out. Wow. Upper corner. He curled it the inside of his right foot. Right well in, struck. Right into the upper 90. <laughs> well taken ball. So the Hillers take the lead. Owen Schnur at the 9.05 mark. Well, Owen's grandfather will be happy. He loves goals, as he likes to say. Holliston will want to pull this one even. It's been a pretty even game. Nice step from Sean. Smith goes long. Oh, head ball. Head ball in Indirect, the box. Indirect, in the box. Jeez. Looks like Owen Burke is going to be the... The one they want taking the shot. Looks like Foley will touch the ball. It's still an indirect kick because it's a COVID foul, even though it was inside the box. Yep. But they can't make a proper wall. They should have, they should have guys in, in the goal. Or staggered. You need to clog up that. That's it. Coach is calling them to get into the middle. Coach wants him more in the middle. Sam in the middle. 
Even if, yeah. Nice shot. Owen Burke ties it up. So a cracker goal at 7.05. Owen Burke. It's the Owen show. Owen Schnur <laughs> and Owen Burke. Two, direct, two free kicks, two goals. Hopkinson did not line up well, I thought, for, for that uh, free kick. Yeah. Even if you have to be six feet across, it doesn't have to be in a straight line. If you stagger the players. Here's Shaw and Golombowski with shot on goal. I think if you stagger the players, you can create kind of a, a yeah. wall, still be six feet apart. Schnorr within the midfield. Has it taken away? Toe poke away from Owen Burke. Leading to Silva. Outside. Good defensive coverage by Hopkinton there. Covering the man on the back post, uh, Peter D. McKelly. Able to intercept that and get it away. Nice ball in. There's a push in the back. Pat needs some options. Cagno Grote draws the COVID foul. Looks like Katz will put the ball back in play. McLeod. Oh, nice layoff. That's a lovely ball to Burke. Great, great save, save from Pat. Chris. That was a great pass and an even better save. Cagno and Burke over in the corner for the Panthers. That's deep. Merlis settles the ball, drops it back to Katz. Goes in the middle. Keckrin, nice pick off from Farrell. Through to Schnorr, keeps it in bounds. Down the wing. Katz with the steal. Merlis goes down to Foley. Declan Mick breaks it up but doesn't get it out of bounds. Jack Green makes the tackle and it goes out of bounds for Halston kick in. McEachern will bring the ball back into play. Three and a half minutes left. There's this a cross. Pat's got that one, comfortably. One. Quick distribution, nicely done. A little to too Ito. far. A little too far. Schnorr to Ito to Jack Green. Nice move to the outside. Pierce Farrell. Stay with Pierce. Stays with it. It's a good fight there between those two players. Oh, nice touch. Oh. oh, unlucky touch by Farrell. It goes out of bounds. Smith sends it long. No one there. Foley. Nice step from Jack. Oh, Kagno with a little wheel. Dean McKelly battling with... Number 13 from Holliston. 
Runs out of bounds. Cleared by Ross. McLeod and Katz over the ball. We're under two minutes. Official time now being kept on the field. Ross chests it to the outside. Cagno with the ball. Vasington challenges. Panther ball. Defending crosses in the air is tough because they're, you've only got your chest to defend with. Yeah. Very nicely done, Andrew, with a shoulder clearance there. Schnorr pops it over the defender's head. See, I don't understand. They're, they don't play advantage with a COVID call. Boy, that was rough. They should have played the advantage there. Looks like we're getting a card here, maybe for descent. Yeah, Katz, it's got to come off. More, more editing. Both sidelines have been very quiet. And by sidelines, I mean the players on the <laughs> sidelines. The coaches have been vocal, but the players, usually your, your players on the bench are the, your most vocal fans. I haven't heard anything from Cloud these, goes wide. this group. Schnorr with a great steal and a great position. Pass. Oh, nice to run. To Farrell on his good left foot. Oh, blocked by the. A Holliston defender. That was a good opportunity. It was. It was. It was a great layoff from Owen, and a nice run from Farrell. Yep. Maybe a little bit quicker on the shot. Ross steps up to intercept this. He's going to take a shot. Ito picks up the deflection, puts it back in. Broke Colin up by Boston McLeod. Follow, fighting for it. Ito with a shoulder pass. Ito controls. Controls. Pass back to Green, who passes it down the wing to Golombowski. Back to Vasington, out to Golombowski, who crosses it to Dean McKaylee. Slipped on that after he hit it with his chest. COVID foul against Gone. And that's the game, folks. That's the game, 1-1. One, one. So at the end of regulation, it ends up a 1-1 one, one tie. Uh, the boys are going to do this again tomorrow. And we got a late yellow card here. Strange happenings here at the end of the game. So Probably overall, Frank, what are your thoughts? Well, I, th I think it was a very even game, and that's uh, that's how it ended, 1-1. Uh, goal from Owen Schnurr, and then a goal from Owen Burke, both in the second half. So they draw us even, and as we said, the boys will do this again tomorrow afternoon in Holliston. And that'll wrap it up. I'm Steve Sweetup along with Frank Schnur and Emily Miller. And we'll do this again tomorrow. Thanks for everyone who joined us. Mm -hmm.